you look on that? Look. That's not your fault. I know. It's not my fault if the if the logo is not straight with a hat. That's the way it comes. Yeah, well, that's what I, people got to understand that. But you know what happens that really irritates me? You know, the, how could they be so stupid? Well, <laughs> I don't want to comment on that. Well, I want to say this, though. You know what I'm going to do? No. Now, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. I'm going to send them a message. They ain't going to forget. Look at that. What do you think? I don't think that's a good idea. Why? <laughs> well, I just think it's a bad idea. Why do you think it's a bad Look, they deserve that. They deserve that. Well, they so. What? You, you know what I need to do? <laughs> well, I know what I need. No, no, serious. You know what I need to do? What? Tell me. What do you need to do? I need to tell you a story. <laughs> The story. <laughs> what am I? You gonna put me to bed or something? No, not that. You need to. I need. You need to readjust your thinking. Well, it might be true, but I still want to give him a piece of my mind. Let me tell you a story. My dear old dad told me. You know my dad? Yeah, he's the one that goes to the flea markets and the auction. Yeah, that's the one. He's three, he, he, he's older. He's a lot older than both of us. But let me tell you the story about the fly and the baloney. A fly and the baloney? That's going to teach me something important? Absolutely. The story begins and goes like this. The story goes like this. I can just, this is how my dad told it. Well, you know, the story, it's, it's important to watch the story and pay close attention to the detail because, you know, there's an important lesson to learn. Just watch it. Watch it carefully. Carefully. Don't miss a thing. Dad, you're, you're even pushy. Oh, I don't want to be pushy. As I was saying, there was this woman who had a very clean house, and all of a sudden, she hurried up and got the kids out, but all of a sudden, they left the baloney out. As you can see, the baloney. But all of a sudden, I did somebody come in. A Look what came in. A fly. Now, what do flies do? Well, flies like to eat stuff. And as soon as that fly saw that baloney, went, whoa, he got excited. He jumped up, couldn't cure it, couldn't it. So all of a sudden, he went there and he started eating that baloney. And he got so full, he was just, oh, he just fell over down and take a nap. But then all of a sudden, he heard a dart open. Boom. Oh, no, the fly said, the people are there. What am I gonna do? I, I gotta get out of here. And so the fly starts to take off the fly. And it goes to fly and I kick it off the ground. Oh, oh, ain't so much I take it off the ground. What am I gonna do? The fly just sees it. So all of a sudden he thinks to himself, wait a minute, I see that knife over there. I can climb on that knife and I can run up that blade. I can get enough momentum, I'll get going. That's what, so that's what he does. He gets on the knife. And he goes and runs off the blade. Whee! All of a sudden, he falls to the ground. Oh. It's a sad, sad story. He tried to fly off the handle. But the moral of the story is sad is, never fly off the handle when you're full of baloney. Otherwise, you'll end up like that. Wow. That's a good story. Yeah, I know. That's, uh, well, that's giving me something to think about. I thought you should. Thinking, you gotta think, you gotta think quick and speak slow. Well, that's good advice. But something that's important to think about, because when you're whole lonely, which is what you are, you're gonna be whole lonely if you just shoot your mouth off. So you're just like them. No, I don't want to be like them. They, they just, they just, just let it go. Just let it go. All right. Good advice. Well, thank you, Dr. Goody. You give me some good advice. I always do. You know, and sometimes you know, I didn't, it didn't, it's, you're not going to send me a bill for this, are you? Well, how do you think I make a living? <laughs> you're not a psychiatrist. So you're a veterinarian. You don't charge people to give them advice. All right.
Well, anyway, thank you folks for that. An important lesson for all of us, because whenever we deal with Macari and Poshmark customers, even eBay, uh, they can get crazy and wacky. So it's a good advice to kind of hold your tongue and not to shoot your mouth up, because it just, it in essence, starts a, a chain reaction to things that you don't want. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Goody. And tell your dad thank you, too. Remember that, folks, the fly and the money.